Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It is a beautiful day to make something festive together. And I'm always looking for new ways to turn something simple into something super fun. And today's project is just that. Cute glitter ornaments for your Christmas tree. I'm gonna show you how to turn inexpensive plastic ball ornaments into these irresistibly and super cute holiday decorations. And it's so easy. I mean, aren't they just so, so sweet? So come with me and I will show you how to make glitter ornaments with cute animal faces too. So let's take a look at what you need to make these cute glitter ornaments. First, you need the ornaments themselves. Any plastic or glass ball ornaments will do, and you can find these just about anywhere. I recommend plastic because then you don't have to worry about them breaking when they inevitably fall on the floor, let's be honest. And I also prefer the three inch ornaments just like I have here because I found that it helps to have a bigger surface area to apply your vinyl, but you can make adjustments for different size ornaments, of course. Now we will also need glitter. I'm using extra fine glitter because I like how it looks inside the ornaments, but you can really use different kinds of glitter for your ornaments and you'll just want a bunch of different colors. Um, any color will do. Now to make the glitter stick inside the ornament, we're going to use Minwax Polycrylic. Now I've tried all kinds of different things to get the glitter to stick inside the ornament and in my opinion, this is the best option. And I have a great tip for how you can get the polycrylic inside of the ornaments with less muss and fuss. It is a game changer if you try to do it any other way. I will share that later when we're working with the ornaments themselves. I also recommend some little cups just like these to hold the ornaments in place as they dry and while they're being decorated. So they're not just rolling around your table while you're trying to work. Now to get, to get the cute faces onto our ornaments, I'm using permanent adhesive vinyl in a variety of colors, along with some standard grip transfer tape. And I'm using felt in a variety of different colors as well. And that adds finishing touches to our ornaments like the ears and the flower. Now to cut out your vinyl and felt, you can use scissors, a craft knife, or a cutting machine like a Cricut, which is the easiest and fastest way. If you use a Cricut, you'll want two different machine mats, the green standard grip mat for your vinyl and the purple strong grip mat for your felt. I also recommend a weeding tool, a brayer, and a scraper tool. And last but not least, we're going to use our hot glue gun and some glue sticks to attach the felt to the ornaments. Now you just need the patterns for these cute little animals and all their ears and their faces are so cute. So let me show you where to find the patterns for these ornaments and then I will show you how to glitter your ornaments and decorate them. Step one, add glitter to your ornament. First, you need to add glitter to your ornaments. They need at least 24 hours to dry completely. So make sure you set aside time for drying. I'm using three inch plastic ornaments for this tutorial. I suggest buying the bigger ornaments for this project as it is easier to apply the vinyl to a large surface. And you could also use glass ornaments as well. Begin by removing the cap from the top of the ornament. I've made a lot of glitter ornaments over the years and after a lot of trial and error, I found that the Minwax Polycrylic really does the best job of coating the inside of the ornament. I also tried Beacon Glitterit and Mop and Glow Floor Wax. All three work, but again, the Minwax Polycrylic worked best in my opinion. Remember, as always, safety first. I recommend wearing protective gloves, a mask, and eye protection whenever you're working with any type of household or industrial chemicals. Also, always make sure to follow all the directions on the label to avoid any possible issues. The easiest way to get the polycrylic into your ornament is to use a simple plastic syringe. I filled up my syringe to about 15 milliliters and squirted it inside the ornament. Then start gently swirling it around so it coats the entire interior surface. Now you might be tempted to shake the ornament to spread out the minwax, but don't. This just adds bubbles and an uneven coating. I took my time and swirled it from bottom to top. 
Once you've covered the entire inside of the ornament, set it upside down in a plastic cup to drain. This won't take long and you'll want to add your glitter before it has a chance to dry. So remove your ornament from the cup and add your glitter. You can use a small funnel or do what I did and make a small funnel with some cardstock to add your glitter into the ornament. I recommend using extra fine or fine glitter for this project as it coats the inside of your ornament better. Gently swirl the glitter inside your ornament so it coats the entire ornament. Then tip the ornament into a cup upside down and pour out the extra glitter. You may have to tap it just a little to get the extra glitter to come out. Now we're going to let our glitter ornaments dry for about 24 hours before putting the little caps back on the tops, but you can layer the vinyl on them before that. Step two, get my free cute glitter ornament design files. Start off by getting my cute glitter ornament designs from my free resource library. First, download the files from my blog at jennifermaker.com 343. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries, and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one, or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design number 343, and then click it to download a zip file that contains SVG cut files for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine, a DXF file, and a principal PDF for cutting by hand. Let me show you how to cut these designs on a Cricut cutting machine. First, upload the SVG cut file to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to do this, please visit jennifermaker.com SVGS to learn how. I will be using the Cricut Maker 3 for this tutorial, but you can also use the original Maker or any of the Explore family series. Once uploaded, zoom out on your canvas by clicking on the minus sign next to the magnifying glass on the bottom left. Now I've included an assortment of cute animal faces, along with a few holiday designs, a reindeer, gingerbread man, and Santa's belt. The two yellow pieces on the bottom left are for the unicorn horn. Those pieces, along with the ears, antlers, feathers, and flowers, will be cut from felt, and all the rest of the pieces will be cut from permanent vinyl. Next, you'll want to ungroup the design by clicking ungroup at the top of the layers panel. Next, pull the designs that you would like to make to the side. I'm going to make the adorable dog glitter ornament and the unicorn with the flowers and the horn. And you can do this by clicking and dragging them across the canvas as I'm doing here. Then left click and drag the bounding box over the other designs and click on the X on the top left of that box to delete it. Again, I have these designs sized for three inch ornaments. If you have a different size ornament, you will need to adjust the size. Drag the resize handle on the lower right side of each design to make it bigger or smaller. Once you have only the designs that you want to make on your canvas and their size to fit your ornaments, click make it at the top right corner of the screen. And then if you see this next window, select on mat and then click done and click continue. Each design has a different mat order. We're going to cut the faces out of vinyl and the ears, flowers, and horn out of felt. If you're cutting the same designs as I am, you should have nine mats in all. Be sure to choose the right material for each mat, depending on if it's vinyl or felt. Again, this all depends on which design you cut. Our first mat is our ears, so we're gonna cut them out of felt. To do this, we're going to first select our materials by clicking on Browse All Materials on the right side of the screen. Next, we search for felt in the search bar at the top right of the pop-up menu. I recommend you select felt, acrylic fabric, and then click Done on the bottom right of the menu. I think it's best to use the rotary blade to cut felt as it makes cleaner cuts in the felt. The rotary blade can only be used with the Cricut Maker Series, either the original or the Maker 3. You can cut felt with the Explorer series, but you will need to bond the felt first and use the fine point blade. I explain exactly how to do this step by step over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Fabric. As I'm using the Cricut Maker 3, I'm going to remove the fine point blade from my machine and replace it with the rotary blade. 
Now place the felt down on a purple strong grip mat and burnish the felt to the mat using the brayer tool. Cricut recommends using the fabric grip mat to cut felt, but I found that with this project, the strong grip mat worked best. It's completely up to you. And if you want to avoid getting lots of little felt fuzzies all over your mat, you can put a piece of transfer tape down on your mat before you put your felt down. So you just want to put the transfer sheet down sticky side up and then put your felt down on top of that. Once you have your felt on your mat, load your machine mat into your machine and start your cut. When the Cricut has finished cutting, unload your mat by hitting the unload button and remove the felt from the mat. It should pull right up, but you can also use tweezers to grab the edge and pull it up that way. Repeat the same steps for all of the felt pieces. When you get to the mats with vinyl, remember to switch out the rotary blade for the fine point blade in clamp B. Select Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy from the Materials menu. And be sure to select more pressure as it'll give you a cleaner cut. So place your vinyl on the mat, shiny side up, load your mat and start the cut by pressing the flashing button. When it's all done, unload the mat and remove the vinyl by flipping the mat over and bending it back to peel the material away from the mat. Then weed the vinyl with the weeding tool to remove all of the excess vinyl that you don't want to transfer to your ornament. Step three, decorate your ornaments. All right, now first it's important, I don't want you to put transfer tape on all of your vinyl yet. Some of these designs are layered and there's a trick to layering vinyl that makes the application a lot easier. The key is to layer things before you put them onto your material using just one piece of transfer tape. If the design has multiple layers like this one, determine which is the biggest layer and cut a piece of transfer tape to fit that size. Next, figure out which layer is the top layer of your design. So mine is the peach blush and the tongue. Place the transfer tape down by holding the transfer tape in the shape of a taco or a U shape and then put the bottom of your taco onto the middle of your design. This will prevent a lot of wrinkles and bubbles and then smooth the transfer tape over the decal from the center outward, burnishing it down with the scraper tool as you go. Now remove the backing from the peach vinyl so only the peach vinyl is on the transfer tape. If the vinyl does not stick to the transfer tape, lay it back down and burnish it again. Now position your vinyl and transfer tape over the next vinyl layer. In this case, it would be the black vinyl layer. Once it's positioned, burnish it down again and remove the vinyl backing. Repeat for any other layers that need to be added. Now that you have your vinyl layered, let me show you a cool trick. It's a game changer when it comes to putting vinyl on a curved surface like our ornaments. I want you to make small snips around the edges of the transfer tape. These snips allow your transfer tape to bend around the ornament when you apply it without putting creases in your vinyl. All right, so next we're going to place our ornament in or on something sturdy. I'm using a plastic cup and that's going to keep it from rolling around on our work surface. Now we're going to apply our design onto the face of our ornament and using our finger or the scraper tool, we rub it from the center of our vinyl outward, tacking the vinyl into place. and then gently remove the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on the ornament. Smooth any bubbles that were missed by working from the center outward. All right, so now let's add our cute felt ears. For these, I'm gonna take some hot glue and put some on the inside of the ear at the top. And then I'm gonna place it on the ornament near the top cap. We want to place them so that they frame our face, but don't cover it up. See, how cute is that? All right, so now let's assemble the unicorn ornament. The steps are basically the same, but we have a few more pieces of felt. 
First, let's add our lashes, our eyelashes. With the ornament held in place by our cup, gently add the eyelashes and rub them down with your fingers and then remove the transfer tape. Now we'll layer and glue the felt pieces for the ears, pink on top of white, and add those to the ornament. And then next we'll add our horn and all of the pretty flowers. So to make the horn, you're first going to want to fold it into the shape of a cone. Then add a thin line of glue to the edge and press and hold. And then you'll add glue to the back of the horn and glue it in place right between the ears. And then next add some glue and attach the flowers. You can arrange them like I did, or mix it up however you like. And now you have some super cute and glittery ornaments to hang on your tree or give as a gift. I just love how they turned out. I think they're so cute. If you have any questions about making these glitter ornaments that I didn't get answered here or anything else craft related that I can help you with, please let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our craft group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. I love to help and I love to see you succeed. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.